collinear vectors. Let A be equals to 3 fourth of BC. Determine the coordinates of point B for the given points A and C. So we are given a very general point A which is x1 by 1 and C as x2 y2. So what we are given here is a line segment A to C. Coordinates of A are x1 y1 and for C it is x2 y2. And somewhere in between we have a point B. Let's say this is the point B for us and we need to find coordinates of point B. So let the coordinates of point B be x, y. Right, so and we are given that A, B equals to 3 fourth of B, C, right? Now since A, B is a scalar multiple of B, C, so A, B is a scalar multiple of B, C, that means both are collinear vectors, right? So that is how we can draw them in a straight line. Now from here we can write 4AB is equals to 3 times BC. Right? Now what is AB? Now A to B is x minus x1. So we will use vector algebra to solve this further. So we can now write 4 times x minus x1. And y minus y1, that is AB, right? Y minus y1 equals to 3 times B to C is x2 minus x1. Y2 minus y, right? So that is how they are related. Now, if these two things are equal, then 4 times x minus x1 should be equal to 3 times x2 minus x, correct? And 4 times y minus y1 should be equal to 3 times y2 minus y, right? Now in this equation we are given x1 and y1 as the points, right? So we get these two equations from here. So from here we can find the coordinates of point x, right? So we have 4x, from here we can bring x to this side, so it becomes plus 3x equals to taking x1 to the right, uh, we get 4x1 plus 3x2, correct? Now 4x plus 3x is 7x, so we can write down x as equals to 4 over 7 x1 plus 3 over 7 x2. Do you see that? So that is how we can get the x coordinate from here. Similarly, we can solve for the y coordinates. So we get 4 times y, bringing the y term on this side, we get plus 3 times y equals to, now, Taking this y1 term to the right gives us 4 times y1 and then we already have plus 3 times y2, right? Now 4 plus 3 is 7, so we can have 7y equals to all this or y is equals to 4 over 7 y1 plus 3 over 7 y2. Do you see that? Now that is the way to get the coordinate points. So from these we get our answer. The answer therefore is the coordinates for point B are let's write big and bold. The x coordinates are 4 over 7 x1 plus 3 over 7 x2 and the y are 4 over 7 y1 plus 3 over 7 y2. Right? So that is the result. So in general, we can always apply this formula and get the answer. So that is how it could be done. Do you see that? Thank you.